This is Twit. We've got, um, well, I'm just going to call it a funny. We've got a Comcast exec who is essentially echoing what his peers have said, and that is that you, that's right, you, the listening, the watching public, you don't want faster internet. Yeah, you, you may think that you do, but you actually don't. Now, let's, let's actually get back down to reality here. We've got Executive Vice President David L. Cohen insisting, insisting that users don't want higher speed internet, a internet access because, and I quote, most websites can't deliver content as fast as current networks move, and most U.S. homes have routers that can't support the speed already available to the home. Now, this comes after representatives from both Time Warner Cable and the National Cable and Telecom Association have both said the essentially the same thing, which is the Google experiment is just a publicity stunt. It doesn't really do anything. You, you're giving them a gigabit pipeline, but they can't do anything with that speed. Curtis, before my cynicism creeps in, what's your take on this? Well, there are a number of layers. First, uh, there's, a, there's an element of truth to what he has to say. For most people, in under most circumstances, the raw bandwidth of their internet connection is not the limiting factor on the speed of what they're seeing. There are a lot of components to any internet transaction. Now, where I have a problem is him basically defining this as a chicken and the egg sort of problem and saying that Comcast and its customers have no desire to be either the chicken or the egg. Basically, they'll wait until they are the bottleneck before they can think about moving. And I think that's the wrong approach. I suspect, to be brutally honest, that there are some more, well, much more self-serving interests behind the reason for him telling us that we're the ones who don't want the faster speeds.